Niantic and Pokemon Go are anti-maskers. I don't know what I don't know what else to tell you. That's just a fact. We're getting a new Smash DLC character announced tomorrow. And oh my god, people are getting paid to do their job! Oh! oh there's Crunch at CD Projekt Red. And I'm giving away four $50 gaming gift cards to your platform of choice tonight! Live on twitch.tv slash have you game crew. Stick around at the end of the video to find out how to win. <laughs> oh my god, the humanity! Pokemon Go is saying to go outside and play their game. Oh no, we're gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. Obviously, there's something going on in the world. The numbers are going up, you know, they, they were flatlining and then people started to open up and now they're going back up. You know, maybe there's false, you know, false positives and this and that, there's all kinds of stuff we can take into consideration here. But Pokemon Go's having none of it. They said, get your ass outside. All right, we're sick and tired of you playing Pokemon Go from your goddamn home. And the Pokemon Go community has flipped their shit. Uh, apparently they took, or they're taking away the stay-at-home safety implications, features, whatever you want to call them, that they implemented uh, for the pandemic. So you can like use incense and stuff from your house without moving and all this other stuff. They, they're taking that away October 1st and going back to the old way of things where you have to get your ass outside and walk around and use them. Uh, and like I said, people are like, oh my God, are you serious, Pokemon and Niantic? There's a freaking pandemic going on over here, bro. We're gonna die. All of us are gonna die because of you. Or you could just not play Pokemon Go. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how the fuck you're playing it anyways. You're just doing this. You go, this is great. This is how I want to spend months of my life inside, uh, under my blanket, scared uh, to die, just doing this. Going, oh, there, got a Bulbasaur. <laughs> Check it out, Mom. There it is, right? That's a great game. Play some, there's a million fucking great games out there to play. And whenever you're fucking sweating your ass off about Pokemon Go, you kidding me? The specific things that they are changing are the hatch distance will return to normal for eggs. I, I guess you, have to, you gotta walk. I don't know, walk around your house? I don't fucking know. The increased effectiveness of, of incense will no, now apply only while walking. Oh my God, we have to move for the game to work. Your buddy Pokemon now will bring you gifts only when you have nearly run out. This will happen only once per day. I don't know what the fuck that's about. And you will still have a higher chance of getting a gift when you spend a Pokestop. However, you won't be guaranteed to get a gift. They're just saying, hey, Go play outside, right? Can we just, you know, God, just uh, put your mask on? You're gonna be all right. Go fucking walk around a park with your mask on. I swear to God, you're gonna be fucking okay. All right? I'm just, I'm just saying. I do it. I've been doing it for months. All right? <laughs> it's fine. Okay? Fucking, if you're playing Pokemon Go, I'm assuming you're either six years old or 90. If maybe if you're in the 90 uh, age range, just, I don't know what to tell you. Just stay in bed and deal with what you got. All right? You got enough Bulbasaur's already. It's gonna be okay. But there you go. Like I said, people are flipping their shit. I thought it was hilarious that Pokemon Go said, hey, fuck it. We are tired of you guys freeloading off of this fucking pandemic. Get your ass outside and do this. Like, it's, it's, we can go exercise and stuff. You can go walk around. Just put a mask on if you feel like it. If you don't, then hallelujah, great. What, whatever it is, just go outside to play Pokemon Go. If that's you, if you really need it that much, then it's, don't cry about it on the internet. Go, Niantic, this is freaking bullshit. We wanted the game to be even easier than it already is. <laughs> I don't know. And oh boy, a new Smash DLC fighter is getting announced tomorrow. We were assuming that it was going to be around the 3rd or the 4th because of Japanese advertisements expiring. I believe the 3rd or the 4th. I don't know which one it was. Uh, but nope, they said, Nintendo said, hey, it's coming tomorrow. Boom. But it's a little different. Usually we get like a long presentation, like half an hour or sometimes even longer. Uh, so Sakurai goes into detail like, oh, this is the character and this is the series and blah, blah, blah. He talks about everything and like all the, it's just like everything. He just goes into detail about everything. But this one's only going to be three minutes long. Uh, not gonna be too in-depth i imagine there's gonna be like this is the franchise this is the character haha <laughs> let's check it out here's some footage boom done um so i don't know if it's gonna be that big of a deal of a character maybe just like paper mario or something like that who knows that's my guess that's what i'm throwing out there is paper mario maybe boost the sales of uh paper mario origami king but you know i don't really give a shit either way i don't play smash uh but then there's also a brief message from sakurai afterwards where i'm sure he's gonna go guys I know you're fucking bummed that it wasn't the character you want, but can you just chill out on Instagram, tagging me on Twitter, wherever the fuck? I don't give a shit, all right? I'm just, I'm working my ass off to make you the best game ever, and all you do is fucking cry. Uh, can you just leave me alone for a minute? Just well, once I'm done with this, then you just cry at me. But let me just let me just grind through this for you. I'm assuming that's what it's gonna be his message. Uh, uh, so God bless you, Sakurai. Obviously, he's not gonna say that. He's gonna say something like, "I'm so happy that you guys are loving the game," and blah blah blah, and just ignore all the hate that he gets. Um, so there you go, new Smash Fighter tomorrow. Congratulations, Smash fans. And oh my god, this is the worst news I've ever heard, ever! Video game crunch is still a thing. My god, I thought Jason Schreier eradicated it with all this epic journalism. 
uh, Jason Schreier is a fucking cuck and he can suck my left nut. I don't give a fuck about Jason Schreier. But anyways, uh, CD Projekt Red is coming out with Cyberpunk 2077 in November. We're on the home stretch here. We got about a month and a half, I believe, until the game come out, comes out. And they announced on Monday that they're going to six day work weeks uh, and it will be mandatory. You're going to be working overtime. The employees are going to be working over mandatory overtime. They said last year that they were going to, oh, we're going to stop the mandatory overtime. CD Projekt Red is making the biggest or one of the biggest, if not the biggest, game of this generation. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 looks fucking mind-blowingly incredible. Obviously, it's debatable. You go, well, I like this game better. Well, I thought this was the game. I'm just saying. It's definitely 100% one of the biggest games of the entire fucking generation. We're on the last home stretch. They're trying to fix bugs and glitches. I mean, do you want them to put the game out and it'd be shitty? Because you're going to fucking be pissed either way. You're like, oh my god, are you really going to over... They're paying their fucking employees overtime, all right? For one, they're paying their company's overtime, their employees overtime in the company. They also have stake in the company. So if the company does well, if the game does well, the employees get more money there. They are overly compensated for their fucking time. And someone leaked this. Some employee, disgruntled employee is like, I can't believe I'm getting appropriately compensated for working on one of the biggest games of all time. And I chose this fucking job. What the heck? This is effed up, man. I should be able to go fly my kite on Saturday. You got a fucking month and a half, all right? Just work your ass off. Make some goddamn money. Uh, what, what, you, what, you want to work at McDonald's? You, I mean, I don't know what you, I don't know what you want me to do over here. You chose the job. You know that the, every industry has fucking crunch. Movies, uh, you know, every, even fucking McDonald's. You go, well, we need you on fucking staff here. Go, we, you can't leave. Sorry, or you're gonna lose your fucking job. This is how the fucking world works. All right. Like I said, it's the final stretch. You want the game to be amazing. You want it as, to be as best as it uh, can be. The game was just sent out to be certified. Like I said, it's it's it, well, you, you just hang in there. All right. You're getting. Companies in America and other places in Poland or Pol I think they're in Poland, right? Uh, other places in America will do crunch and not even like compensate you appropriately. They're doing it by the law, the overtime pay. You also have a stake in the fucking company and everything if you work there. I mean, Adam uh, Debaus De Badowski, studio head, went on Twitter and said, you explained all this like, hey, this is what's going on here. Uh, they are getting well paid. I don't know who the fuck snitched. You're a little fucking bitch for snitching and get your hell Get the fuck out of here and go work somewhere where you won't be appreciated and won't be paid Accordingly go fucking work at EA and cry your eyes out to Jason Schreier uh, But he said he takes full responsibility for this He said I know we're backpedaling on our crunch thing, but god damn it We're making a fucking behemoth of a game We want it to be the best it can be at launch and even after that they're gonna still be patching the game for probably years, right? Uh, why do you want it to why do you why are you gonna cry and be like why would you not put it out shitty if it comes out shitty you're gonna go I can't believe you do this why wouldn't you make it right <laughs> gosh dang it now we gotta download day one patch big as fuck are you serious right now um <laughs> I don't know you can't win you literally can't win either way they're trying their goddamn they've already pushed the the game back twice I believe uh, looks like it's not gonna be pushed back anymore. He himself said this is the home stretch. I see no fucking problem. They are getting really good money, all right? They're making a good money. I don't know what just happened there. They're making really good money. They're working on a prestigious game. It's gonna help their career. I don't know what, to the snitch in the group, no one likes you, okay? Just wanna point that out and don't go, Sean, Crunch sucks regardless. Then don't fucking work in the industry. Jesus Christ. Over here working my ass. I ain't making shit. You know how much fucking money I make for these videos? Like $5. It takes hours of work. I'd love to be working on fucking Cyberpunk 2077 and making fucking sick ass money for my time. But I'm not. So what are you going to do? Tonight on twitch.tv slash FU Game Crew, I'll be giving away four video gaming gift cards to your platform of choice, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever the case is. You tell me what you want and I got you, baby. Uh, to enter, to win, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video, get comments on all the videos uploaded in September for more chances to win because I'll be picking a random video uploaded to the channel in the month of September tonight. And then two random comments from that video. Uh, and those will be winners there and then I'll be giving two away on Twitch if you're following me on Twitch and you're active in the chat While we're doing the YouTube giveaway uh, All you gotta do is be active in the chat and I'll be picking two winners that way So there you go, but if you want to support the channel, we have a merch for fvgamecard.bigcartel.com We got shirts, stickers, mugs, all that fun stuff, group quality, fashion, we got pricing, we also have Patreon, patreon.com slash fvgame for as one dollar a month, you really help the channel a lot So I have a join button on the channel, it is like Patreon, but officially through YouTube All those are great ways to support the channel, even if you just comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff, that's great too uh, Links to everything in the description, including uh, my new gameplay channel I have uh, Bubby's World, which is my other channel where I do weird non-video game stuff, a lot of skit stuff. I'm, maybe you'll laugh, maybe you'll get offended. I don't know. Cameron's channel is down there as well. We're also on BitChute. Go check us out over there, and I'll see you later. 
I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Hey,